my name is Jan Boeter and in this section we are going to look at how to configure logical workgroups. Workgroups can be configured under the workgroups container which can be found under the people container within the interaction administrator. You can create a new logical workgroup by right clicking in the list view on the right hand side and selecting new. Please apply a workgroup name. I'm just going to call mine project A. Once you have supplied a name for your new logical workgroup, there are a few configuration parameters. You do not have to supply an extension number, mailbox, user, or set any preferential languages, as this workgroup will not be used for routing interactions. What you do, however, have to make sure of is that this workgroup has a queue tick box is clear. If you do select that box, you will turn this into a functional workgroup and the aim is to create a logical workgroup. Please make sure that the workgroup is active and then in the following steps you can go and assign the members of the workgroup. To assign members to the workgroup simply select the members. I'm using the shift key over here to uh, select multiple agents, agents 1 through 7 in this case, and simply assign these agents to the workgroup. Once you have configured your workgroup you can simply click the OK setting and it will be complete. Once you have created your workgroup, you can then go and assign the workgroup. In my case, I'm going to use it for directory services as a new view, workgroup directories view, and select the workgroup that I created a little earlier on, add OK, and I will then have a list of all the users in that workgroup for easy reference purposes. In this section, we looked at how to configure and use logical workgroups. Thank you very much for joining me. See you again soon.